In tonight's Military Matters, a Fort Hood veteran is using his knowledge from high school and lessons from his dad to kickstart his new career. Patrick Abrams started his own woodworking business out of his garage in Harker Heights. Channel 6 military reporter Jillian Angeline tells us about his plans for his new adventure. Patrick and Aurora Abrams are sawing, sanding, and staining here in their driveway, making items like this Adirondack chair. It's therapeutic and relaxing when you take something, you know, a blank two by four, and at the end of the day or the week, it's, it's turned into something else. Abrams was inspired by his father's handy hobby. He was a professional man, you know, in the finance sector, but on the weekends, you know, he strapped on the grungy clothes and, you know, went to work with, you know, all of his table saws. Abrams, who was in the Army for 11 years, is going to welding school starting next week, hoping he can build even more with the combined skills. There's a calling for welding in the area. Uh, a lot of welders in Austin and the oil rigs down in Houston and stuff. And it's something that can help me support my family, which is ultimately my biggest goal. What started as a passion and a pastime has become a money-making venture, and his wife has jumped into a role, too. I'm the one that sands and that takes the time and finishes them with the, the clear coats so that they look nice and get to the standard that we want to go out the door. She's also got a project of her own, making resin art like these colorful Lego men. And the fun part is, is you never know what you're going to get with resin and the alcohol inks. Abrams offers some advice for veterans looking for their next job. He says don't put all your eggs in one basket and it's possible to succeed once you get out of the service. AP Woodworks is on Facebook and Instagram. In Harker Heights, Jillian Angeline, Channel 6 News. Back to you. Looking mighty comfortable. Thanks, yep. Jillian. New for you.